Welcome back to VBAR 101. Uh, this is Frederick Mellin, aka Mr. Mel. Uh, today I'm going to show you the event log. <coughs> the event log is a uh, logging system where it shows errors and messages from the system. It's not a flight log uh, that will record every second of data. Uh, it raises errors and then it shows it in log. You will find this event log under the info menu if the unit is connected, only then. So um, if you are in simulator mode, you won't see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to load, uh, you can either load all entries or get 100 entries from the event log. I'm going to get all of them so we can have a look. And you will see up here you get some red, red is bad, yellow is uh, semi-bad and green is okay. <coughs> So, um, then we can scroll, and the last entry is the last in, in time and space continuum. Uh, it will, you cannot clear this log, it will overwrite the oldest entries, it's uh, going around uh, in a loop. And um, some have requested that it should be able to clear it, but if you look uh, from Mikado's perspective, this is the black box. If they get the unit back, back for testing, uh, if they have a full log, they can do much better work uh, on uh, finding out what happened. So if we scroll back here, uh, you get good health message every 10 seconds if there is no uh, other log. Uh, it's an indicator that, that it's running up and going good. Uh, here we got one extreme vibration level and an elevator sensor value out of range. This means either the machine crashed hard on the ground or the sensor, actually I moved the sensor a little too fast here. So it, it uh, went um, out of range basically. You shouldn't see that unless you're, well, crashing or, or something like it. We scroll further up, and uh, here we can see this helicopter, when it flew, it had issues with the uh, supply voltage, uh, meaning uh, the power supply on, on the system. It dropped below 4.0 volt. Uh, I think it's three levels, so you will get an error message 3.5, then it's uh, really, really bad. Uh, you can also see cyclic ring is active, that is meaning you are at the max limit what what uh, this setup can do in terms of cyclic speed. Uh, if you get this all the time and you feel that your helicopter isn't fast enough, uh, there is ways around to raise the agility of the helicopter, but I'll get back to that later in another episode. So we scroll up here, uh, we can see this supply voltage error uh, occurring. And here we have another quite common, and that's an antenna switch, uh, followed by some some uh, issues with uh, the signal. This is not dangerous if you get one or two or even three in a flight. Uh, if you have them all the time, either a bad satellite or even um, even quite common is a bad antenna on the spectrum. This spectrum radius has a thin cable in the antenna and. Um, that can break quite easily. Also, we will have here we see some vibrations uh, issues as well. I'm gonna scroll up to. I uh, actually I didn't have one. Um, if you get a few high vibration, it's not that bad. But if you get all the time, if you look, the log won't log more than once every 10 seconds. So even if you um, have bad vibrations all the time, you will only get one log each 10 seconds. Meaning, I wouldn't be um, that upset over this vibration perhaps, but if I were to have extreme vibration all the time, followed by raised, going back to extreme, raised, high, extreme, uh, all the time in a flight, then, then uh, I definitely have an issue. Um, and then I can use a spectrum analyzer we're going to show in another episode. Uh, another error that uh, raising eyebrows for many and that is quite easy to get is something called sensor checksum error. Um, and you get those quite often in a log. Um, 
uh, in the same flight and you think, oh my god, my sensor is bad. But the most common thing is static hits. Uh, you get those small static hits and they're picked up, let's say, by the tail servo, travel down the line by the tail servo cable and that cable running alongside the, the sensor cable and that will be picked up as a sensor checks and error. Um, another way to get them is if you put the sensor cable close to the DC side of the speed controller or even if you have a bad speed controller. Um, so reroute the cable, see if you get those sensor checksum errors and ground the boom. Um, that's very important. So this is an event log where you can look through and see what happens in the flight to find out uh, each flight you need to look for the cold start. Each cold start indicate one restart of course um, and that way you can find your way up throughout the messages. Uh, well that covers it. Um, it should uh, you should do look at it once in a while to see if any issues have arised, especially if they're after rebuilding the helicopter to see the vibration levels. What you can do is save it as a PDF file um, and uh, especially important if you post on forums or send in a request for the VSTABI team, include a log, it helps them a lot, uh, me too, when looking at um, what happened with um, your particular setup.